Welcome back. Right now we are going to talk about Nature Gone Wild. This is a series that focuses on crazy wildlife encounters and natural disasters, all while respecting this beautiful world. Let's take a look at more information. Prepare you to see the extreme side of Mother Nature in a &E's network's new series, Nature Gone Wild, from animal attacks to natural disasters. It has it all. And today I'm speaking with professional backcountry guide and explorer, Greg Aiello. Greg, thanks for joining us today. Now, thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. So, Greg, you've traveled to the most remote corners of the world, documenting everything that nature has thrown at you. So, tell me more about the series Nature Gone Wild. Well, aside from me being out there seeing everything, it's that, you know, this is the day and age where everybody has a camera on their phone now. So people are out there more and more and they're just capturing what's happening out there. So for me as a guide, I've been seeing some of these things, you know, all my days. Uh, it's, it's just really fun to see what everybody else is out there capturing. What are some of the most extreme things that you've seen that are featured in the series? Oh God, well, we cover it all. That's what, it's really a great show because we go from, it is the most extreme things that happen in the outdoors. And it's everything from natural disasters to animal encounters. And it's all, it's not all scary either. There's a lot of really funny moments that happen in the show. And um, there's, you know, it's, we carry the audience through the show, through the emotions. You're gonna be gripped with fear in one and then you're gonna be laughing in the next segment. So it really does carry you through. Uh, all the emotions that you could have. So would you say the audiences will leave after watching this show with more of a respect for nature, fear, admiration? You know, I, I certainly, we don't want people to think it's, you're going to get, you know, sucked up by a tornado and, and eaten by a bear if you go outside. Th these are really extreme examples, and we sort of break down what happens, what went right, what went wrong, how to avoid certain things. Um, but it's but it also has a lot of just information in terms of how these things per you know relate to historical events and it's a really fun show for the whole family so it's not a scary show at all but it does show some really extreme things that do happen in the outdoors um, but we see it all from big icebergs breaking off and, and creating huge waves to landslides to it's it's just really we've taken a lot of time to curate some of the most extreme things that people are capturing out there in the wild world now, you've been in the television industry for quite a long time, from an early age and the early parts of your career, and then you left to pursue your love of nature, and now you've merged the two. So tell me a little bit about your background and why it was such a natural extension for you to do this. Yeah, you know, I, I did. I was using up all my sick days and vacation days to go backpacking and climbing when I was in my 20s. So I, I worked for TV affiliates all through my, my 20s and most of my 30s. And I just realized that, you know, I just needed to follow that, that natural impulse to be outside and to really make that my livelihood. So I just jumped off the, the TV tracks and started guiding full time. And um, a producer had started a show about the outdoors and saw me and you, you thought I might be okay for it. So, you know, I, I just started down that, I just say yes to things when they pop up and that yes sounded good. You know, hey, do you want to go on adventures and make a little bit more money than you're making as a guide? I said, okay, let's try that. And, so it just sort of just merged that way. It was a pretty natural fit. And now the two worlds have really come together beautifully. Well, of course, this is Park City Television. We love nature. We have herds of elk right in the middle of our town, moose everywhere, right. cougar sightings. Yeah. So can you give me any kind of a tease of an animal that is maybe unique or a little different or something that you encounter that we'll see in the series? Well, I mean, you are going to see some, you know, you're going to see a lot of bear encounters. You know, bears are, are really prolific in our country here. So you're going to see a lot of bear encounters. There's a couple of really good um, mountain lion encounters. A couple, you've, you've had a recent one in your state, I know. So we'll, we'll actually feature that in our show at some point here, I'll, you know, in one of the further episodes. But, uh, you know, bison and, and snakes. I mean, one of the funniest ones was a swan. You know, swans can be pretty territorial, but, uh, you know, the swan attacking this guy has has me laughing to this day. I've watched it 30 times and I still laugh about it. So it's not all scary and doom and gloom, but it's, uh, you know, animals are unpredictable and, and uh, people learn that on the show. And of course, now in 2021, getting out, enjoying nature, observing animals in a safe way that's respectable, it really makes a lot of sense. 
It does. I mean, people are craving to be outside. It's really great for me to see as a guide too that 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 you know us being forced to be inside the cry to be outside the outdoor industry was just inundated with you know if anyone tried to go out there and buy a mountain bike or a, a paddle board or something it's difficult to do right now because so many people are wanting to be outside right now um so this show is going to kind of give you an idea about what can happen out there and uh and hopefully teach you a thing or two along the way about how to keep yourself safe when you do go outside i'm so looking forward to watching the show is nature gone wild it premieres on wednesdays 10 p.m. Eastern Time on A&E Network. Greg, uh, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us more about this fun show. You bet, Christine. Thank you so much. Have a great day.